Well, hello, hello, and hello, my brothers and sisters. Um, happy uh, Wednesday. Is it Wednesday? And it's raining here in the ATL. I have, I have um, uh, something that I want to, that I've been meditating on, and that I want to pass on to you as well. Um, and it's along the lines of our uh, temperament. It's along the lines of our um, ability to be able to manage uh, what God has given given to us. Uh, just like with the, the parable uh, of the talents in Scripture, in, 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 the, in, in Matthew, in the book of Matthew, where it talks about this man had these talents and he gave um, a certain amount of talents to this one guy. Uh, what was it? He gave five talents to one. He gave two talents to another. And he gave one talent to the other one and told them to occupy, to, in other words, to what would I, what would, what I give you until I come, until I return back. And, and, what, you've given, and what you've earned, what you've um, grown, I will reward you based on your faithfulness. And so, and the man went out, but when he came back, the one that had five talents worked. And he saw that he was faithful, and so he gave, and he, he accrued ten. One that had two, he saw that he was faithful, uh, and, and got some more. But the one that had one buried his talent, didn't do nothing with it. And the master, what the master did, the master took what the one that had buried his one, took it away from him, and gave it to the one that had ten. And uh, when it comes down to what I realize and understand, it is about how do you manage what God has given you. That's what it comes down to when it comes down to life, when it comes down to money, when it comes down to relationship, when it comes down to our temperament, and when it comes down to that, there's the fruit of the Spirit that God has given uh, us as the believers, something that will teach us how to bring balance and something that will teach us how to maintain what God has given us. Just like when you go to a bank, when you go to a bank, when you put your money in the bank, the bank manages your money and it gives you an interest rate, you know, for the period of time that you allow or allow that money to stay in. And so once that money stays in for a certain while, you get more money. But before I get to the message, before I get to the message uh, completely, all the way to in it, um, if you haven't subscribed to my, um, if you haven't subscribed to my page, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do it this time. If you haven't, please do. Or also, if you've been listening, you just started listening, you've been listening for a while, and any of the things that I say has encouraged you and helped you, do me a favor, please share that message as well. God bless you. Now back to the message. The title of this message is Temperance. Temperance. Um, there's a, uh, a verse in Proverbs, I think it's 25 and 28, says that a person that cannot rule their spirit it's like a broken down city without walls. And so, but there's another scripture that says that the person who's able to control their spirit is stronger than a mighty man in the city. And so, controlling your temper. And so, a lot of times we think of controlling our spirit as far as our attitude, as far as getting upset, being happy, being sad, our mood and stuff like that. We just look at only part of it, just like a vacuum cleaner. Most people, a lot of people, and like I said, most people, a lot of people look at vacuum cleaners doing one thing, and that's just a vacuum. But there's more attachments on that vacuum cleaner that it can do, like a shampoo, can do other stuff. The same thing when it comes to self-control. Oftentimes, we look at being upset, not being upset, someone setting us off. But also, that's managing your temperament in that sense. But also, temperance means how do you manage how you eat? How do you manage how you think? How do you manage your thoughts? How do you manage your love? Just like in a relationship when you're with two people, it's management. It takes time. It's giving and taking. And it takes time to allow what you have to grow and to develop. It takes time. It takes time. And so what I'm learning and what I'm understanding when it comes to God and the, and the things of God, when it comes to even with wealth, Mentally, emotionally, spiritually, financially, when it comes to wealth, when a, if a person does not know how to manage what they have, they're going to be broke. 
It doesn't matter how much money you make. It doesn't matter how much money you make. If you don't know how to manage <coughs> and put things in certain categories and compartments and have self-control where you ain't going to spend this, you ain't going to spend that, but you're going to hold on this, you're going to allow this to grow. If you're not able to do that, you're going to go broke. You're wasting your time. It don't matter how much you work. <coughs> if you keep spending more than you're working, then you're wasting your time. It's like running in, it's like running in space. It's like running in, 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 in the same spot. Running, running in the same position. You ain't moving. You're running, you're running, but you're standing still. And that's what's happening to many people emotionally, mentally, financially, and all, and, in all kind of ways. It's because you're not learning how you're not you're not, not getting it. There are things that God give us, and he and and what he's the scripture says, if you faithful with few things, I'll make you rule over many. And so many of you, the test is what God has given you. If you cannot be faithful with what God has given you, he will not trust you with more. That's what it comes down to in everything in life, with money, with love, with whatever. If you're not faithful, if you don't know how to manage what you have, you're not going to get more. Just like you waste a little bit, <coughs> you'll waste a whole lot. And so the, le the, the message and the lesson for the day is management, self-control, temperance. One of the fruit of the spirit that you need, we need. And that is the ability to be able to manage our appetite, our, our temperature, our temper, the things, our possessions, things that God has given us. Because once we become faithful, then God will give us more. And so this is the test many of you, many of you the doorway to your success is going to take you managing what God has already given you. If you find yourself in the same position, you can find yourself running in place. It is because you keep failing the test. Learn how to get the blueprint, figure out the blueprint. Learn how to manage, learn how to work with what God has already given you. Is that all right? This is the message for the day. God bless you.